so you have you have an ongoing relationship with your client base yes we do you you, you have more time to establish trust yes. and also to work out these these issues and yes. so i mentioned pad because it seems like pad would benefit from having this dimension they they have had documented successes the but the missing component obviously is the relationship with with the individuals you know building trust on both sides so that they begin to trust you and have confidence in the work that you're going you're going to do what you say you're going to do pad is being funded through the end of the year and we had a discussion in public safety i guess not this past not yesterday but the the, the week before about getting with fulton county and discussing you know kind of what the, the future of, of pad ought to be but i'd i'd advocate for some level of this type of service mm -hmm. going along with pad you know so that when individuals are identified that it's more than just a person coming out to the scene and say hey do you need a b and c i'm i've been listening for a couple years for this type of engagement and um, details of what we are actually spending our dollars on here at the city. And this is what I've been listening for because this sounds to me like um, what is really needed in order to not eradicate unhoused, but to make put a dent in it, to make sure that we are taking care of those that need our help. Um. Wait a minute, what, what are your office hours? <laughs> it, it depends on which case manager you talk to, but pretty much our case managers are on call. We have some case managers that are up in the hours. early and What's the early hours? I think, well, let me, because council member to, to so another council member is, in her particular area, they're really, uh, in, in Councilman Boone's area, they're really struggling with overnight and weekends. So I it's think it's really the not even overnight. It's any time past 7 p.m. Got it. And any time on Saturdays and Sundays, we have nothing available. So I. I, I remember when we first started having these unhoused conversations, like in 2019, feels like anyway, it might have even been 2018, and I was told by my community members that somebody's just passing out keys to the homeless and they're sleeping outside of these doors um, of the homes that they were given, the spaces, and that meant something to me. It meant that's not an answer do you know like who's passing out keys so that was my question to the powers that be who's passing out keys like so i i honestly am not an expert in this field for sure i'm not but i do know when things sound like they're working and when they're not working uh, They have had documented successes. Well, they they have had documented successes.